The All Share Index, which tracks the movement of all equities listed on the Nigerian Exchange Limited, rose by 34.11% in the first six months under the administration of President Bola Ahmed Tinumbu. And this is set to be a positive trend compared to the first six months under his predecessor, Mohamed Buhari, when the SI recorded a dip of 19.51%, according to data from StatiSense. Now, thus far, the sentiments had been sustained with the SI crossing the historic 70,000 basis points in early November. This morning, to talk more about this, I have Mukhtar Mohammed, CEO of Shared Dynamic Solutions. Mukhtar, it's nice once again to have you join us on Business Edge. Thank you. Thank you, Lekom. My pleasure. Now, this is one of the best we have seen so far on that the new president, that is Bola Tinumbu, uh, in the country with the ASI crossing the historic 70 basis points in early November. What are the factors, would you say, actually responsible for this growth? Well, I think um, his, you can't take it away from him. I think his policy have helped the market, especially the, uh, what do call, what I call it, the revaluation or the the the, 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 the Naira, floating of the Naira, that has helped the market um, to where it is today. And, uh, and also the removal of subsidy. Those are the two major policies that have driven the market thus far, especially the floating of the of the Naira that has made um, so much, um, so many companies made a lot of profit, while so many that are not performing well has made a lot of um, losses also because of, 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 of the floating of the Naira. So basically, these are the two factors that are guiding the, the I mean, helping the market to be where it is today, those two major uh, factors. Does this now put pay to complaints over time that um, this administration does not really know what it needs to do and um, is actually putting in place uh, policies that are not in tandem with the realities of the economy? Is this something that we can bank on that um, these uh, would continue to trend towards the positive trajectory? Lego, you see, the, the, the stock market has its life of its own at a point. I mean, the companies are doing well based on based on the, some, um, like I've said, the policy of um, of um, um, what do you call um, the floating of the Naira and also the removal of subsidy that helps companies to grow. But in the long run, the stock market cannot be separated from the from the economy. So it will take the life of the economy, and that's when you normally see the slowdown in terms of the kind of growth you expect to see. Um, this policy is, like I said, it, it's just on, 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 on paper in terms of um, violation of this company. These companies have gone up because of the floating of the currency. Remember, at the point, the exchanges were 369. They're living about 800 and something. So you continue to see the this company uh, make more profit, especially those that are, are dollar diminuted companies like um, like the banking sector that have a lot of uh, FX. So that's what has helped them. But um, in terms of policy, you ask yourself, um, how many Nigerians are indeed uh, playing the stock market? Even if we are so excited about, we have about 90%, about 95% uh, indigenous participation in the stock market. But this is driven by institutional investors like pension fund administrator, high net investors. But the ordinary Nigerians that are feeling the bite of some of these policies are not in the market because there's a saying, you see, that has, has feed themselves well, that will begin to think of investing in the market. But so those that have been investing in the market is that they have never made any better time like what we are presently seeing thus far in the market. Well, it's quite interesting, Mukhtar, that um, you say this, um, just as you have just said, that um, it's just um, a, 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 a print on paper, as it were. So if you are to translate it, as you said, to um, the ordinary man on the street, or when we look at the Nigeria's, Nigeria's economy, uh, should we say that there is nothing at all that we can tie uh, together in this regards to say, OK, this is what the ordinary Nigerian would enjoy. This is what the market will begin to um, see in terms of positivity. And this is the growth that we will also experience in the economy as a result of what's happening in the bourse. OK, you see, that will happen when we start having those investors come in. Uh, when we have foreign investors begin to come into the market, direct investors, foreign investors, uh, portfolio investors they begin to come into the market, then you begin to see uh, new uh, companies spring up, you begin to see new product coming to the, the country. That is good for the attracting of foreign investors into the market, and that will create jobs. And again, in terms of the market, the market will keep growing when you see such policy comes into play. Now, like I said, uh, it's just like when you live in an estate and the estate is well tied 
and then you have all the good road network inside your estate, good electricity because you have an independent power plant. But when you go out of the estate, yeah, maybe the surrounding um, uh, uh, um, estate around there or houses around there do not have electricity or do not, I mean, do not enjoy 24 hours electricity, nor that the road so tight. Then you begin, you also feel, um, you, you see that uh, you, you, you not feel the comfort that you're feeling when you're coming in from your estate. So that's what is happening in the stock market at the moment. So it, it, the market itself is enjoying because of the policies that have come out. And then the larger economy is suffering because of these policies that have not been able to tie up to attract investors into the market because of the step in instability or volatility in the exchange rate. That's what I mean. When I mean paper money, I don't mean that these cash are not available. This is revaluation of these cash. And remember that why the CBN also had to come out with a circular to banks that you shouldn't you shouldn't begin to spend those money that you've gotten through revaluation. You must have to skip them for uh, for 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 days that are coming ahead. That might be tough because again, if you use all those funds liquidity to begin to pay your investors and good dividend like they, they, they normally should have happened, then you you have those challenges. So that's what I mean by paper money. Not that those money are not there, mm. but again, they are not translating to I mean, based on lending to the real sector. Or growth of the economy. These are being um, these are happening because of the revaluation of the currency, and that make the man that has a thousand dollars before, yeah, which was three hundred and sixty, is now having a thousand dollar that's almost one 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 million. So that's exactly what has happened to the banking sector, especially the banking sector. And when you look at the real sector, that is the consumer goods sector, you realize that those places are shrinking because they are rather than making a, a, a profit. Because the revaluation, a lot of them are making losses, even the telecom companies, because most of their goods comes outside the shop. It's going to import it into this country. So they are now the ones suffering by their bottom end, their, their, their bottom line. And that's why you see most of the consumer companies, the consumer goods company, the conglomerates, they are not dealing with the manufacturing sector, the real sector. The sector that is driving the market initially, with the removal of subsidy, we saw the petroleum sector driving the market. At a point, it came like, Oh, the subsidy has come back because NNPC is making sure that they, they are the only one that are importing fuel into the market. So, so it slowed down. But the banking sector, when the second quarter result came out, you and the third quarter result came out, we saw the floating of the night, the revaluation of the currency, helping them to boost their earnings. Most now the earnings of the banks are in double digits. Most of them are being 12, 15, and 10. So with that, the CBN have to step in and say, look. It's not because your earning per share is 12 naira. You will not think of paying investors uh, 10 naira or 7 naira. You must also know that this profit comes as a result of revaluation. So most of these earnings that came from revaluation must not be paid to shareholders, must be kept to make sure that it builds liquidity, especially if there is any, any turbulence. Well, I guess um, it's a time for um, investors to smile at this time, most especially those who've invested um, in the Nigerian Stock Exchange. But then uh, we understand what the situation is, how fragile, of course, um, these uh, appreciable gain is. But then how do we now sustain um, the growth? Because it's very, very crucial for those who have actually put their um, belongings, or not belongings now, put their cash or put their profits or put their money into this uh, particular um, uh, particular board. So in terms of achieving growth and ensuring that it's sustained, how can we um, achieve that? I, I can tell you that um, we've been able to achieve this thus far because of uh, institutional, I mean, institutional local investors, retail investors, and also uh, or INET investors. These are the true investors. and. Fortunately for this are uh, local participation, like I said, so that have helped um, bring the market to where it is now. Now, so we, we could also be sustained this by me giving more enlightenment to local investors, especially Nigerians, to take advantage of the stock market in this time. Look, I tell you with what is happening in the market, if we get it right in the economy, the, you, you, the best of the market is not yet seen. Remember, this is a market, like you said in your report, that throughout the administration of uh, President Mohamed Buhari have suffered very well in terms of uh, the point it was the worst performing exchange in the world. So it, it was an opportunity at that time, but most Nigerians did not take advantage of it. And those that took advantage of it are the ones that are benefiting now. So how can we sustain this? Number one, the exchange itself, the NGS itself, must make sure there's corporate governance. And we make sure that the companies release their results at as when due. 
that will help. Then government itself need to create that microeconomic stability because the 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 the, 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 the bonus will not be able to drive on its own. It will come to a point that he will need the economy to sustain the type of growth that we are seeing in the market. And if that economy is not there, especially the microeconomic stability or exchange stability, then you will not be able to substantiate those growth that you've seen. And then you begin to hear where people begin to say the market is having market corruption or profit taking or or the, the market is having uh, uh, um, uh, other variables. Maybe investors are pulling up their funds to other uh, segments of the Nigerian economy. So let's not look at um, the fixed income markets. Can we also say the same that there's a piece of growth in, in that particular area? Well, well of course, uh, we look at um, the attendant issues and its potential. Um, what is obtainable in the fixed income market? Well, Lico, if, if you look at the fixed income market, you also could say that um, they performed relatively well under President Tinubu. Yeah, not to forget that before he came, the growth in the fixed income market was about 6%. Now some are doing about 18%, 17%. 19% per annum. So that for me, I think that is that that also is um, we seeing that spill over to the fixed income space. But again, with the level of borrowing that the government will be borrowing next year, and they are saying that uh, most of the borrowing about them, um, I think about them, um, 75% of the borrowing will be from the fixed income space. Then we could see that space also growing again, also in terms of um, of, of of rate. We could see rate growing that space, and they were, and the CBN have said that they will maintain rate hike. And when they maintain rate hike, the fixed income space seems to benefit more from rate hike than the equity market. But as it stands now, the equity market seems to be the only uh, investment that have been able to beat inflation by over um, 34%, as doing, like you say, 34% in six months, and inflation is about 27%. So you see the fixed, the fixed income, when you invest in that space, does not meet up with your inflationary pressure, but the stock market, when you invest in that space, has made up, has exceeded the inflationary pressure. And okay, that is individual. That is the bonus as it's all the, the larger stock market in terms of pressure index. index. But individual companies also been able to exceed the uh, growth in terms of uh, exceed inflation. Some of them have been doing about one around fifty percent in terms of uh, uh, market uh, price from a, from a low of seven naira. Some of them are selling for 20 naira, 20 cover, from a low of six naira, some of them are selling to 21 naira. From, from a, so most of them are in the all time high ever achieved since when we had that market crash in 2008. So definitely depends on the equity that you are you've seen progression in terms of uh, profit and also that has been able to beat inflation. So it depends on your risk appetite. If you have somebody that takes risks and believe in risks, then the stock market could be where you are. But if you are looking for safety, the, the fixed income space is still there, and I think um, growth is, is 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 good, but it's not been able to meet up with inflation. Uh, so you want us... to beat inflation, okay. then you play the stock market. But you want to maintain great growth, you just it may just have to be in the fixed income space. Okay, let's just quickly tie that to what obtains globally. When you look at Nigeria's equities, what's the comparison uh, with um, other countries in terms of performance and portfolio? Presently, now I think we are the best performing stock market in the world. In Africa, we are number one in the world, so we rank among the best. And so, definitely, we've seen that happen. And I, I'm, I'm glad about this because I keep saying that this this positivity that we are seeing in the market is driven by local investors. So for me, that is the that's the that's the that's the beauty of it. Uh, well, all the type of growth in terms of bullish runs or all the type of growth we've seen in the market before now was driven by foreign investors. And when they decide to leave, uh, you, you, you see the market crumble. But this time it's driven by indigenous investors. Ordinarily, if you have foreign investors, when the, the government floated in currency, you see panic, you step in. Most of them want to exit the market with their fund because they know how much they came in with. They will be exiting at a high price. So they want to exit, and that would have had effect on the stock market. But because it's driven by local investors who invested in Naira, not dollars, you saw that um, uh, that run that you've seen in the market. So um, with that, you could say that then the Nigerian market has performed relatively well and has been driven by local investors for the first time. So would that mean that we should lean more um, towards um, local investors and see how we can woo them more um, into the Nigerian stock market as compared to um, foreign investment uh, portfolios? Is that what you're saying? You can. You, I think you hit it on the nail. Mm -hmm. Exactly. That's what the NGS should be doing at the moment. Uh, but don't you think it will make um, the stock markets more robust when we have um, an appreciable number of these um, foreign investors um, working in tandem with um, local investors to improve liquidity. Don't you think that would also help? That or will help. But where you have the, the foreign investors, 60 to 70% playing the market, and you have 
the local investors 30 percent that will not help your economy what you see them you are attracting hot money so what we call hot money is that the money comes at a good time and then leave when the times are bad but when you have local investors they are taking ownership of the market so they see the market as their market they see the environment then they take opportunity of it so we are not saying local foreign investors cannot come to the market but we are saying that it's any market that sustains reasonable growth or maintain momentum for a very long time have been driven by local investors because the foreign investors are there for the good time and they are out for the bad when when the times are bad they are definitely out of the market and so that create a lot of crisis in terms of perception, in terms of confidence, and so that will track down the market. But when you have local investors playing the market, it tends to it tends to understand the, the economy by and by the type of investment uh, uh, vehicles that they see. They try to do those comparisons. But when you have these foreign investors, you mustn't forget that most of these foreign investors must have borrowed this money from their own country at a rate, and they want to be able to maintain this rate to be able to pay off those loans. And once that is not happening, once you see there's any upside tone in terms of exchange rate volatility, they want to exit to pay off their loan. And again, when you have foreign investors now trying to exit your market and they're not able to exit because you're not able to give them the two-way exchange system, that also affects your market. That also affects institutional investors from coming to your market, and that also drags down your market. So there's a lot of positivity when you have the locals playing the market. Okay. Also, there's a lot of positivity going forward when you have foreign investors playing the market, but then the locals have a larger share of the market. The market. Okay, Mukhtar uh, Mohammed, CEO of uh, Share Dynamic Solutions, thank you so much for your time. My pleasure, Leko. Now, despite the potential challenges, uh, the current bullish trend in the Nigerian stock market is a welcome development for the Nigerian economy. Well, it indicates that investor confidence and, uh, of course, our presence and looks as though there is a positive outlook for the country's economic growth and future. And something we'll continue uh, to monitor to see um, how it would further grow. We go on a short break and when we return, we'll bring you international business stories. Don't go away.